Hello, and welcome to Group 2's presentation of our website. Here you find our main page. It has beautiful heading, a navigation bar that includes links to each of our pages, as well as a built-in search function. It includes a description of our website, the names of our administrators, and a place to log in. Our pages cannot be accessed without logging in, so let's do that. A failed login um, and valid credential page where you can log in again. A successful login, login however, will send you to your own home page. So let's try this by registering. Our net ID is going to be a M. Password and confirm our password. Now if we skip any of these fields, you'll notice that we're being told that we need to input at least three characters. So I'll go back, fill these out. Martha Meeks. Our email is going to be Martha L. Meeks at Yahoo.com. Alright, she offers tutoring, tech support. She's available Mondays and Wednesdays from 8 o'clock a.m. to 12 o'clock p.m. She would like to receive an email confirmation. So now that we have all of our information filled out, we're going to go ahead and click the submit button. This tells us that our user was successfully registered. She now has a login with a password, but when we go to any page, we'll still be prompted to sign in because she hasn't signed in yet. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's sign her in. She has more. Submit. Any sign-in will bring you on to your profile page. Once you've logged in, you can see your user information and all attack, uh, tasks assigned. She doesn't have any jobs yet because she's new. From your profile page, you can also mark them complete and have them removed from your task list. With the create, a modify job page. We can also create new tasks um, using a our net ID, the task description, um, the service description, and a user we want to submit the task as well as a deadline. So to start this, we're going to put in our KSU ID, which is Martha M. We're going to say my keyboard. We need tech support. The deadline for this is going to be November 29th, 2017. I'm going to go ahead and assign it to myself just so that you can see what it looks like. So we're going to submit that. Okay. All right. Now we can see that I have a job here assigned to tech support, my keyboard is broken, when it's due, who it was requested by, and who we could reassign it to if we wanted to. Now if we look under my profile page, this was under the create job page, we go back to my profile, remember that we have a list there of our jobs. This is the list that are assigned to me, Martha, logged in. Um, we can choose to close a job when we've completed it. We're going to go ahead and mark this job as closed. Jobs deleted. Okay. And it is no longer in the list. All right. Now we're also going to go ahead and say, hey, we need a new service. Um, one of the things for this project that we did was we added the ability to add new services to our offerings. Martha here. Well, she's really good at um, computer cleanups. 
Well, let's do a new one. Uh, Martha here is really good at, let's say, windows. It was all about the windows. So we're going to update her profile. It says our profile has been updated. Okay. Now when we go to create or modify a job, we now have the option to offer Windows tutorials. So my KSU ID is Martha M. I need I need help with uh, let's say text. Did we do text support before we did? Let's do two. Deadline on this one is going to be December 1st, 2017. We're going to assign it back to me so that I can reassign it. And we're going to submit it. All right. So we showed you how to delete a task. Now we're going to show you how to resubmit one. So here it is, our job sitting down here. We're going to say, who do we want to give it to? We could give it to anybody in the list here. I'm going to give it to, sure, why not, Brandon. We check the reassign box. We reassign the job. The message says job has been reassigned. We say OK. And the job is no longer listed in our profile. So if we reassigned our tasks. Another cool thing that our website does is because we're already signed in, this button has changed to sign out. Also, if we go home, this what used to be a login section is now says welcome to the community. All right, so we've done that. Now let's look at our services, our built-in services search. All right, so we're going to search for tutoring. If we search, we'll see, oh look, all of these people offer tutoring. Um, but what if I'm really looking for that one really good tutor? So I'm going to look for Michelle Meeks. So let's look for Meeks. Search. And there we that pulls up Martha and Michelle Meeks um, and when they're available and how we can contact them. So that's just a neat search feature that we have on our website. Um, this website does use... Um, external CSS, which you'll find in our package. It uses JavaScript. All of our inputs that um, input into the database are validated using JavaScript. Also uses server-side validation. Um, our job closing and reassignment is handled with Ajax. LDAP handles all logins. We have four tables instead of the required two. Um, we use mysql prepared statements whenever data must be inserted into the database. Um, and we have completed this project, and here it is. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to one of your website administrators listed here on the home screen. Thank you for viewing our page. Goodbye.